Hello everybody, my name is Rick, and this is my Dell XPS L702X, and it is sad. Why do you ask it is sad? Because of these lines appearing in my panel. It started off as one, and now it's gotten a lot worse. So, we're going to make it unsad by replacing it with a new display from LaptopScreens.com Glossy! Very pretty. All you need to do this is one screwdriver and a lot of patience. Well, maybe a moderate amount of patience. First thing you want to do, obviously, is uh, power off the laptop. And as a good safety measure, you want to remove the battery. Okay, flip that back over, and we'll open her up. Now, this is not as difficult as I originally expected it to be. Uh, all you need to do is pull this bezel off from the top of the display, and all it does is click in. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And all you need to do is just apply a little bit of pressure to one of the sides and lift up a little bit and kind of just pull it out. It does a little snap um, and as you go around the display, you'll kind of hear all of the little snaps. Now what I found is if you lift this part up a little bit and push down on the back part of the display, these seem to... Uh, pop out a lot easier than just trying to pry them out. So we'll go ahead and do this real quick. Now, as you can see, this is coming off pretty easily. And uh, this is where the trick kind of is. Just got to be a little patient with the bottom piece here. Maybe even flex, flex that battle a little bit and see how it comes off. Nice and simple. Okay, so that's my bezel. We're just going to set that aside for now. Now, as you can see, there are six screws in the panel. One here, one here, two down here, and two down here. So we're going to go ahead and take our trusty screwdriver, and we're going to go ahead and unscrew those. Now, once we get these off, what we're going to see is that the monitor is held in on these two sides by another smaller frame that screws into the side of the display on both sides. So let's go ahead and get these off here. Let's not lose screws like I generally do. Put those aside. And here's the last one. So now, what you're going to do is lean the panel forward a little bit, and what you'll see is a little strip in there. I don't know if you can see that. Let me come down a little bit. A little strip in there that's stuck to the back of the display for the uh, webcam. So just go ahead and lift that off slowly. Undo the tape that holds all the cables to the back of the display. And then this part is the trick really need to make sure that you're careful with this so you don't damage the connectors. So what you really want to do is go around it, pull all the tape off, and then finish by unhooking the connector. Okay, now we're going to take this, and as you can see, the display is held into place by these four screws on each side. So we're going to go ahead and take a moment to unscrew those and again not lose any screws okay. and remember these are a different size than the ones that were being held or that were holding in the display uh, in the corners so we want to make sure we separate these so we don't accidentally use the wrong screws I don't even think that they'll fit anyway so okay now you'll also note as you're taking these off that they are marked on the bottom part 
you should see an R for right, and that is the right side from your perspective. So right and left is where that one is marked. So let's go ahead and get the left one off. I've already uh, unboxed the display for uh, speed purposes, so I'm just going to go ahead and put this aside for now and grab the new display. Shanna Shanna. Oh, I should have bought the glossy display when I first got my laptop. Okay, so now first of all you want to make sure that when you hold the panel backwards that the connector is on the right side. So let's go ahead and uh, screw in the uh, bottom parts. Uh, this is the right side, so we're going to screw in the right anchor. Okay. It's going to be kind of hard to screw this in while holding it, so I'm just going to get a start over here, and we'll probably uh, cut back once I've got all the screws in. Okay, now we've got the bezels on, or the uh, framework on, R, L for right and left. Now, uh, we're going to very carefully lay the display down on the keyboard and we're going to focus on getting this connector in here. Uh, probably going to need to lay down the top a little bit. I don't know if you can actually see in there. kind of looks like a, a little dark there. Um, and then you're just going to hook the connector in from the bottom. Let's see if I can get this on the first try. So you're going to hook the connector in from the bottom, and you'll hear it snap or feel it snap in a little bit, and then just push the tape up. And then you can go ahead and push the lid back, and what you'll see is you'll have see these two things here are where you're going to kind of hang the bezel on. Oh, actually, it looks like you need to seat this. So here is another trick too, right? you want to make sure that this cable is seated properly in between these two pegs. Otherwise, it may get in your way when you're trying to hang the display back up. So we're going to go ahead and push this back a little bit. We're going to put the display in the little two pegs there to hold it in place. Okay, and they even clicked in on the bottom there too. That's perfect. And then we can go ahead and screw in the bottom and the top of display. Again, uh, it's definitely a lot easier than some of the other laptops I've done uh, where you have to take the whole laptop apart just to take the display off. Uh, it's really simple. It's a little intimidating at first. Uh, I was afraid to um, crack my bezel, but uh, it came off really easily and uh, I was able to slide this thing right in and finish the repair in probably what amounts to less than five minutes. Okay, now I've got all four of my, or six rather, of my screws in, all four corners. Now this is something to be aware of and that's just to make sure that it is still in the right place after you screw everything in. Otherwise, what you'll end up doing is you won't be able to seal the bottom part of the bezel because this will be in your way. So now the final step is putting the bezel back on and this just snaps right in. Don't be afraid to throw some force on it. Okay. That is it. Okay, and there you go, nice and perfect.
Okay. And uh, let's pop the battery in and see what it looks like. Yay, no lines. Laptop is happy, and so am I. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day.